Hello everybody, I'm Red Star and Blue Star's with me and I'm doing the last episode of Under Hell now. I kinda lied. I said I'd be back in a few minutes. We were two hours. We decided to take a break the computer. Figured out that the fucking CPU was more ancient than a fucking I don't fucking know. The entire computer was ancient as fuck. Like, it, it had a dial-up card in it. You know it's <laughs> fucking old when it has a dial-up card. Yeah. Okay, you know what? I have done this. I can take my computer apart and put it back together in 20 minutes. This computer is so old, there were so many fucking screws, it took two hours. And so many different screwdrivers. We needed, like, a different screwdriver for every screw that was in there. Oh, yeah. It was ridiculous. I need to use the elevator to go back down. Burger, does this gun work? What's the weight limit on this calamiter? 1,200. 1,200 pounds. Assuming that every person is 200 pounds. You and I would pretty much take up all those pounds. So you're the one that was growling, you little bastard. Come here. Yeah. I've had the game running for so long that it is struggling to keep playing. Wait, 3 out of 10? Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm trying to go to Seth's room via the lab, so. You know what? I think I'm going to do a bit more than this episode. What? I think I'm going to do more than this episode. Why? Because I like this game. Yeah, but. Well, uh, fuck, I'm over here. You ain't sleeping? Not too fucking cold by five o'clock. Wow, they just don't stop fucking coming. That's what she said. Yes, I'm immature as fuck. <laughs> you can't get me. You can't get me. Maybe you can. Bet that. special material that prevents them from shattering or being dropped. Uh, so we crack that shit, but it still holds together to prevent like terrible acid spills. Is that what I think it is? At the time great uh, last year in science someone almost fucking spilled acid on themselves. Yeah, the computer we took apart was even more ancient than those. Oh, yeah. Here, I'll pop them on the side of this one. Or not. Wow. 
bulletproof computers. It looked something like this, with more wires, all jumbled up into one fucking funnel. Access denied. Oh, so this is supposed to be a safe room. As in nothing can get in or out of there. that ammo before. Neither did I. Oh, we can go now. That's what I did last time, remember? Shut up, yeah. He wants your D. He's going this way now to get up. To get up. See? Smart fucker. And he's got a wrench. I would scream. Like, I wouldn't be able to handle this game. I just know it. I wouldn't not be able to handle it. I'm a pussy. We fucking go back down. We fucking went back down. That cheesy fucker. Fuck, where is he? What have you done? I'm scared now. Because that thing is loose and we don't know where it is. Notice how I'm washing the floor? Yeah. Okay, yes, I can go here now. I'm just gonna sit here and panic now. screens are your only savior in this game. Yeah, we also fucking hate them. Hmm? We also hate them. I need to... Yeah. I need to find my zip zap. My zip -zap. Jake, it's Terry. Listen, the south wing is probably filled with armed personnel. I strongly recommend you try the silent approach. If you get spotted, they'll call for backup. And there's nothing we can do from here to assist you. So lay low and move slowly. Look around for discreet passages and try to get to the mainframe without getting noticed. Over and out. Be right back in a sec. Hello everybody, I am the Red Star and you're not gonna fucking believe what happened. Blue star's in the background. Yeah, the blue star's in the background. Um, Jake, you made it! Basically what happened is I lost about four hours of fucking footage because it decided to start recording the audio the second, the second, uh, okay. Once the second headset got unplugged, it just stopped recording audio altogether. All of my audio cables crashed and it's just, it stopped recording every single bit of audio, game audio mic audio and the only thing you'd hear was random popping so I have to redo the next four hours of footage so up until <laughs> up until a certain area which I forget because I've already deleted all the footage it's going to seem like I am not really surprised by anything uh, yeah so what there might not be a lot of emotion. I knew you'd make it. I'm sorry. So, what do you think of our new place? 
We've got a nice campfire, we managed to bring in enough supplies for a few days, and there's only three ways in and three ways out. But uh, we barricaded one of them because it was uh, unsafe. <laughs> unsafe? Man, we barely opened the door and gas started leaking. These are the biological labs. What did you expect? What I expect? I'd expect you to find a safe room that is not right next to some crazy ass lab with toxic gas. That's what I'd expect. Has anyone briefed Jake on the situation? Yeah, 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 I'll take care of it. Jake, look, you ready for this? All right, there it is. We're what fucked. Fuck? That was it. Now he's briefed. We've encountered we hostile armed personnel on our way to the safe room. 1971! Which means that our response that is supposed to disable us has already reached this level and probably the other wings. But that's not the worst part. They noticed I hacked the ciphers. And their response was to change the core access cipher codes. Uh, so basically, we're stuck on this wing. Well, these labs can take us to the south wing, but as you guys know, it's definitely a no-go. But even if we reach the south wing, then what? Well, as I was telling Ben earlier, the mainframe servers for this level were located there. So? So if they change the cipher codes, that's where we'll find them. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So these motherfuckers changed the code to the flying soda cans that opened the big ass doors, so we can't access the core on the other wings, right? Right. And what like you're saying is, the code is somewhere in the servers that are located in the south wing that is probably overrun by the soldiers sent here to kill us. And that can right now only be accessed by going through that lab filled with toxic gas. Right. Well, that's just fucking beautiful. Fucking beautiful. Wait, Jake has a gas mask. Oh, you do? Yeah, he picked it up in the maintenance area. You still have it, right, Jake? But he only has one. Well, neither I or Junior is gonna put on that mask and go in there. What the fuck, man? How can you decide what I do or I don't do without asking me? You wanna go in the motherfucking labs? No. Then shut the fuck up. But the lab access <laughs> is under quarantine. And, well... Well, what? The only way to actually enter the labs is with a yellow access card. Which we don't have. Oh, right, yeah. Yellow access. Oh, yeah. I read about that somewhere. It's the... Quarantine one. override card, I know. And where would that key card no, be? No, that was way back know. in the other safe Maybe room. in the offices. So what's our first step then? All right, let's see. We've got this location secured, so that's good. Our first step is to scout this wing for survival and supplies. And try to find that special key card to get access to the labs. Then we go to the south wing, get access to the server to get the new codes, and we should be good. But there's only one gas mask, and Ben, you're the only one who can access the server. Well, not the only one. Jake here managed to upload the cipher guidance system just fine. And he also figured out how to reboot the MGPS on his own. Seems he knows his way around technology. And I could guide him through on the radio too. All right, Ben, what do you know about the North Wing? Um, not much, unfortunately. I haven't been able to dig up anything beyond this level on the network. I don't really know why my access isn't flexible. What do you mean? Well, you remember I told you I managed to plug myself into the main security network earlier? That's how I've been able to get all the info I've gotten so far. But it's strange, I only get bits of data. Like, it's like I don't have full access. It's, I mean, it says I have full access, but I don't. It could take a while to try and dig up everything about the North Wing. What do you want to know, anyway? Because the only way up on this level is through the North Wing. I want to know what to expect there. All right, then I'll just keep digging. All right, Takeo and Eric still haven't returned. They should be bringing the rest of the supplies from the safe room on the first level. They're going to need someone to open the core access for them when they get there. I'm guessing you had to close the cycle to get in, Jake, so they won't be able to get through. Man, do you have any idea how annoying it was to run the auto cycle on this thing? I had to turn it off and run like hell and then roll under the door right before it closed, just so that the access could be open on the other side. Brian, Junior, since you two can't be separated, apparently, you go ahead to the core access and wait for Takeo and Eric. Okay, you got it, but there's no way I'm pulling that stunt again. We'll just wait for them at the core access. <coughs> right, Jake, you go on to the offices of this wing. It's by the core access. Try and see if anyone's still alive over there. And try to locate the key card. Also, be careful. Might be some other personnel still around. If you already tried to talk to them, you wouldn't talk back. So we're not going to try any other. Are they trying to kill us to contain the infection? Or just because they don't want everybody else to know what happened? Probably both. Wow, 
Well, hi there. It's been a while, hasn't it? You know, I saw you back there all drunk and dizzy. You know, you should drink with moderation. I don't know how much you had, but it was probably too much for your own good. I hope you didn't mind me carrying you away from there. I just wasn't going to leave you there lying on the floor in the middle of the corridor now, was I? Anyway, I'm glad to see that you're better. Thank you, but you kind of put me with fucking people who are going to shoot me. You know, we are getting mighty close to having a full deck of cards. Thanks to you, I can do a lot of fun activities with my little friends. Where? So yeah, no time to rest. Let's get the missing cards before my beard starts to grow too long. So here's the deal. You bring me ten more cards, and I'll give you my crossbow. That's right. You heard me right. My favorite <coughs> and most effective tool for hunting rats. So, you want to take your chance to win my crossbow, huh? It's of my own design. Well, not really. I found it. But I improved it a little, and the bolts, too. They are special. So yeah, you just bring me those ten cards, and this beauty is all yours. Awesome. I feel like I should be able to get up there. Catch you later. Oh, hi. Name's Lloyd. I'm a chef. Well, not really. I'm a ration distributor. But yeah, chef sounds more fancy. Liz, I wasn't the only one working on the place I had a big prison next in the middle of a city. It's pretty simple. If I were you, I wouldn't try to go to the north. One of my colleagues can't go to the north. Everyone is talking at one minute. If I recall correctly, he worked on this place. That data could be something very How can it be secret if thousands of inmates see it and then get sent back into society? That's the thing. This facility has been built and designed to keep inmates safe in the I'm pretty sure it is, I just can't remember. Fuck. Just the inmates, you see. My job is to supervise the general security of this place. All the security teams on every level are divided into squads. And even though the squads sometimes shift between the wings, they never work on another level than the one they're originally assigned to. Only a few Where the fuck are the other cards? Actually go to oh, burrito. Level. I wouldn't be surprised if all the junior complaining that he didn't know where that there's a prison down here at all. all right, you seem to be the only one really moving around. You and that Asian guy. They just get to work. I never really see, see him leave. Live. I just see him come back sometimes. Which is why the residential area is a lot more cozy than the rest of this facility. Yeah, it must have been nice before. But it was damn creepy when we passed through on our way here. That's because it's empty and in ruins right now. I can't even imagine what happened down there. Right, Junior broke off. Alright, we need to stay focused. You just keep digging those files, see if you find anything useful. Okay. Alright. Will do, Terry. Thanks for the chat. It helps, uh, it helps take the edge off, you know? It's so good. There's the, uh, bread M9.
So, I've heard a lot about you. I heard you rebooted the generator, which explains why I was locked in a transit for like 15 minutes. Fuck off. Okay, half the cards are found. Now I'm going to the office room. Um, offices are this way. <laughs> Nine, not six. There you go. <laughs> I find Matthew's data hidden in a cheesy vampire book. Yep, has to be. I know the offices are like, there's quite a few zombies in the offices. I think I'll make this episode 25 minutes, because I started at, uh, I started at 7.05. No, 7.25. I will wait. Hey there. Fuck, I don't have a silencer, that's right. Look at the heads just explode. Oh shit, I'm bleeding. No, it's got a nice piece missing from it, but they bleeding. Yeah, we disassembled my extra roommate's computer. And uh I kinda screwed up my finger when I was pulling something I had that stole out of the computer. Right, it's this one. 
check what it was. out of 